Hi everybody, I'm Philip Goodman. And I'm Stephen McDaniel. And this is the Real Estate Market Report for South Meadows. Stephen and I finally got outside the office to do one of our market reports again. And today we are at Zeppelin at the Loop. And Stephen, we've been waiting a long time for this place. We sure have, Philip. We've been talking about this since August. And this is a great addition to this area of town. We really needed something like this. Absolutely. Well, Stephen and I, instead of just looking at one month of activity today, we are going to look at three years worth of uh, real estate trends here in the South Meadows area. So while we're waiting for our food to arrive, let's take a look inside Market Insights. We are looking at single family homes and condos for the Reno South Meadows area over the last three years. The green line represents the single family homes and the blue line represents condos. We're only gonna actually focus on the single family homes right now. If you want information about condos, definitely contact Stephen McDaniel. So Stephen, some very noticeable trends in these annual cycles. Exactly. You'll see three specific bumps coordinating with the three specific years. You see the peaks and valleys. The peaks usually are happening in June and July, and the, and the, the low points are definitely happening December, January. This is common. This is a good snapshot of what's happening in a three-year cycle in this community. Something to look at is units sold by price range, and I wanted to bring this to the forefront of this because from an affordability standpoint, the highest category of homes being sold in this area is $300,000 to $399,000 over the last three years. Next would be the $400,000 to $499,000. This seems to be the target niche of this area. Um, if we go to years sold in a snapshot, 550 units were sold in 16, 722 units sold in 17, which was a bumper crop year, and 585 units sold in 2018. Again, shows a very strong increase in the value and what's going on in this area. When we look at median sold price, in January of 2016, the median price was 340000 As we move up and we follow this as a very slow and gradual incline line, uh, in January of 17, 387000 and when we get into January of 18, 391000 and as we concluded the year, the, the peak of that was 462,000, showing again a very steady increase in the median sold price in this area. And as I learned at the Builders Association of Northern Nevada forecast, it's not just the value of the properties that are increasing, but it's also the cost to produce new homes. Labor and materials are costing more. That's correct. Stephen, as we look at the graph of percent of asked to receive as it dips kind of all over the place, does this actually indicate that there is a better time of year to submit an offer on a property? On first glance, probably not. However, if you look at the pressure that's added in the summertime with multiple offers and offers over asking price, it's a good time to buy in the wintertime because there's less pressure. So Stephen, median prices continue to climb However, percent of asked received is a couple points lower than, uh, than asking. So what other factor would drive someone to buy a home in the winter? Well, Philip, right now, as of 116.19, we have 30-year interest rates at 4.69%, 15-year rates at 4.08, and you can even get a 5-1 arm at 4.23. These are some of the lowest rates we've seen since the summertime. Couple that with less pressure on your offer, a below asking offer and low interest rates, it's a perfect time to make a move. Well, there's your three year look back at the real estate activity here in the South Meadows area. And it clearly did not take us three years to tear through these plates, right, Stephen? No, it was delicious, all of it. We had the mushroom tacos. Amazing. I'd never had anything like that before. We had uh, a goat cheese and beet salad. Which is, again, one of my favorites, and the goat cheese was smooth as silk. I didn't think you were going to share that with me, actually. I really didn't want to, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> we had portobello mushroom sliders with a crispy sweet potato uh, slaw thing. A good balance between the, pro uh, the protein and the bun. It was delicious. And then the, uh, the coup de gras, the lamb pops. Amazing is all I have to say. 
you have to try those. They're uh, th delicious. And I'm not a basil pesto guy. That Parmesan in there really brought it together. A unique. I never had anything like that. Lamb, of course, but not that well prepared. Well, we definitely encourage you to come check out Zeppelin at The Loop. And we encourage you to contact Steve McDaniel if you have any questions about any of the numbers that we've discussed today. So for Stephen McDaniel and the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group 1 Inc. in Reno, Nevada, we'll see you next time. Or we'll see you here at Zeppelin. Ah.